All right, guys, welcome to SubjectMoney.com. This is our video series of Excel tips and tricks. And in this video, we're going to go over how to uh, how to find the present value of multiple future cash flows of different amounts. Uh, now, I'm going to assume that you pretty much know, have a decent understanding of, what, of present value. But just in case, I'll kind of explain it. Um, basically, what present value is, is um, most people know that you know, a certain amount of money in the future, say a hundred dollars in the future, it's not equivalent, it's not does not have the same value as a hundred dollars today. And the reason why is because a hundred if you had a hundred dollars today, you could invest that money and it would and it would earn interest. It would give give you a return, um, making it worth more than a hundred dollars in the future. So why would a hundred dollars in the future be worth a hundred dollars today? Um, a kind of a simple um, explanation of it is just imagine that you had an account that you earned 10% um, interest on okay if you put $100 in that account one year from today it would be worth $110 and two years from today it would be worth $121 so basically what we're saying if 10% is your discount rate that's your opportunity cost um, $121 two years from today discounted and the present value today would be worth um, $100 if, there, if your opportunity to invest was 10%. And $100, $110 one year from today, if you had a 10% um, account that you could invest in, would only be worth $100. So that's kind of the understand, That's the uh, concept of present value. All right, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and move into the purpose of this video. Um, I'm going to go over how to find the present value using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so you can see here, I have a little chart. Uh, this right here is, stands for today. This today plus one, which means one year from today, two years from today, three years from today, four years from today, and so on. And for each year, I have an expected cash inflow. So like one year from today, I'm expecting to receive $100. Seven years from today over here, I'm expecting to receive $1,000. So we want to find the present value of all of these cash flows because this could be one single investment maybe that's bringing in these cash flows so what is the present value of this investment all right so I'll, first I'll go over the long way to do it um, I could go here and just enter in the formula for each for um, each cash flow so that would be equals the cash flow I'm referring to that cell F8 the cash flow divided by so the formula is going to be the cash flow divided by 1 plus the rate of return. That's our opportunity cost or our discount rate. Now I'm going to hit F4 because we don't want this cell when we drag these, this formula over. We want this to stay put. And we want this to stay locked into that cell. But this we're not doing it because when we drag these over, we need to be referring to each cell. All right. So we close that parentheses, and then I put to the power of 1. And that gave us a present value of $92.59. I need a new mouse. All right, let me do the uh, show formula real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I can drag this over. And this is, the, uh, this is basi basically a lump sum present value formula in each one of these because we're finding the present value of, of a single cash flow. So I can drag this over. Now, what I have to do, though, is this cash flow is two years from today, so it needs to be discounted back two years. So um, it's going to be the cash flow divided by one plus the discount rate to the power of two, or however many years um, it is until we receive it. So like over here, it's going to be discounted three years, and we will do that all the way until our final cash flow. And we need to go in here and change this formula four years five years six years and seven years all right now so you can see we have the formula for each cash flow now I'm gonna get out of show formula mode and now you can see this is this in uh, this row we have our present value of each cash flow okay so the present value of multiple future cash flows is going to be the sum of the present values. 
of each cash flow. So uh, equals sum. That's the sum formula. And then all we have to do is we're doing the sum of, and we just put in parentheses, we highlight all of these numbers. The sum of all the present values. So our present value is $2,260.80. All right. Now, that was a long way. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the short version in Excel, and that's using the net present value mode. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get, just go ahead and delete this row because we don't even need it. So right here, we have all of our cash flows. All we're going to do is we hit equals NPV, which stands for net present value. And then um, right here, you can see it tells us what to do. So it says to enter the rate. So we refer back to our rate. And it says to enter a comma. So we hit a comma. And now we're going to add up all of our cash flows. Oh, no, no, no sorry. We're not going to add them up. Comma. Click them and a comma. And then close the parentheses. And you can see the net present value is $2,260.80. The same as what we had before, except for we didn't have to do all of those calculations. So um, <clears throat> again, I'll show you the formula. And you can see it. It equals NPV, the rate, and then each cash flow to be received. And you cannot skip years. Even if one of these years does not doesn't have a, uh, maybe you don't expect any money, you still have to enter that in because, um, you know, like say right here, I made this zero for, um, it's going to change our net present value, but we still need to have that, that cell entered into this formula because it's discounting each one of these back. Like it's discounting this one one year. If we were to skip it, then it, would dis it wouldn't discount it back the right amount of years. All right. So that concludes this tut uh, tutorial of how to find the present value of multiple future cash flows. Um, make sure to visit our website at subjectmoney.com and to share our videos. And stay tuned because we have plenty more coming in the future. Thanks. Bye.